What's up guys, welcome back to today's video. As you can see behind me, and as you saw in the intro of this video, three Street Hunter C8s, and before you even ask it, you're like, Tej, where is your C8? Why is it not with the rest of them? My C8 is in Texas. It will be coming back very shortly. We cracked over like 1,100 or 1,200 horsepower on the dyno. We're fixing drivability issues. It's coming back soon. I feel like I say that often, but I see your guys' comments. I see you asking where it is. I wish it could have been here today. I'm very sad us on here today we were out this morning since 4 a.m taking videos and pictures of all of these c8s together just for some street hunter material so dope dude a couple days ago at the end of my vlog i said if you guys got the vlog to 30,000 likes i would reveal the new wheels that i have for the mark IV supra now as the challenge was given to you guys you guys did it you accomplished it Look at that, 35,000 likes. Good job, guys. So I will hold up to my end of the bargain. I have a bunch of new parts for the Mark IV coming out that I originally wanted to hold off on installing because I wanted to have four to five videos a row of just all Mark IV parts going on the car. But I'm gonna spoil it today a little bit. I'm going to do that. All the parts I'm gonna wait to install, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the new wheels today and go a little bit of out of order. So the new wheels are gonna be revealed early but I really want them on. You guys clearly want them on. So we're gonna go to the shop and go pick them up. We're gonna leave all the boys here to keep on filming. They've been working super hard. Big shout out to Street Hunter. They've been killing it. And uh, man, that just looks so gangster. What a way to start the day. on the Mark IV are Advan GTs. I've always kind of favored the five spoke design and as you can kind of tell by this fitment, it's kind of set up like, I guess how I describe it is like a drag setup. I have a super tall 295-45 tire in the back and on the front I only have a 245-40-18 which is, as you can kind of tell by the wheel well spacing, it's a little small and the fitment isn't very aggressive on this car. And over the past couple months, I've really started to, I guess, explore different options in the super realm and I've just kind of decided this isn't really the look I want to go for anymore and it was time to change it up. Unfortunately we also are lowering TJ's car due to the new wheels that he wants to put on. Well I don't know how much we'll have to lower it yet. And I'm over here telling him don't do that TJ because every time we lower his car because he feels whimsical he rubs wands and goes ah I need to lower it again yeah, or raise it again. I don't complain like that. Yeah you do. No I don't. Yes, you do. Well, we're going to be lowering it today because I want this fitment. Okay, the reason why that He's one is annoying is because I don't have rear camber arms and we need camber arms. TJ's a two fingy kind of guy. No, I, I kind of think my two fingy type of like mentality, <laughs> two fingies is going down to one fingy today. I'll give you guys a couple minutes to try and guess what they are. As you guys know, with the Supra, I like to keep things period correct. I wanted to do a wheel that was very popular and tailored towards late 90s, early 2000s. So it's nothing modern, not HREs, it's not Advans, it's not BBSs. Leave your guesses right now. Pause the video, try and guess what it is. Calv, do you want to just film me as I roll over a beautiful wheel, brother? I go over here and grab them. We've had them sitting in the side of the shop, a little towel over them for a long time. Oh! Oh, there's so many boxes over there. You might have, yeah, you might have to move a car, Tej. No, 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 it's just, oh, it's so good. All right, you ready? Roll it in. Here we go. Show me what you got. There's a lot of things in life that I love, but two things that are absolutely dear to me is saving time and trying to be as healthy as possible. And with Factor, you can do that. Factor offers pre-made meals that are healthy for you and will meet your nutritional goals. With Factor, there's no prep or any sorts of mess. They cut off all the stressful planning and prepping you would have to do if you wanted to make meal preps for yourself. And a personal favorite for me is that they actually offer a variety of foods that tailor to all sorts of people and all sorts of tastes. 
I'm a really picky eater, so trust me, when I think about pre-made meals, I think like really healthy fufu stuff that I'm just not gonna like because I honestly eat like a five-year-old. But Factor has everything for everyone. And even if I don't want a meal, they even have snackable items like these smoothies and they are fire. My life is hectic and busy as it is and trying to eat healthy while living that life is extremely difficult, but with Factor, it's actually possible. And right now, you guys can save $120 off of Factor meals by using the code HUNT120. All you have to do is go to go.factor75.com forward slash hunt120. If all that is too difficult, just click the links down below in the description or use the code on screen. Make sure to use all caps and that's all you gotta do. Thanks to Factor for sponsoring today's video and making my life a little bit healthier. And now let's get back to today's video. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, 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 Here turn, turn it. No, turn it. Don't, 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 don't expose it. Yeah, I'm gonna expose it right now. Sheesh. Right. Oh! Sheesh. 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 Look at Man, that. We're just adding, adding collections here, baby. We have a beautiful set of TE37s for the Mark IV. Aren't these the same wheels on the RX BZ? And the Sabrina C8 and my BRZ. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Can you guys sign to that? Oh, it, there's literally, it's literally right here. <laughs> nice. All right, as you guys can see, on the BRZ, there is the racing sticker. And you, oh, I have them, I just haven't put them on yet. Um, let me get, let me Sorry, get, let me get, um, let me I'll, I'll just, I'll leave them. On the new wheels, we don't have them. TJ hasn't decided whether or not he wanted to put the stickers. We do have it. I, for one, think it would look cool. What do you feel, Tej? Oh, man, look at that. Me. Damn it. Yeah, they, for whatever reason, the blast bronze come with red. red. I don't know, comments down below. I'll let you guys decide the fate. Honestly, yeah, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Do we run the red, or do we leave it blank, or do I just go online and buy a different color? Oh, uh, yeah, you could do that. that. Because that didn't come with blue. Oh, it, did, did that. oh you, no. it didn't come with blue. That one was actually, I think it was red at the time. I don't really remember, but either way, comment down below, what color do we do? The fate is up to you guys. So I wanna give a little shout out to Tommy Afia because he is the plug that allowed me to find these wheels. What makes these TE37 special, at least a little special, is these are actually Mark IV Super Fitment. My understanding wasn't a lot of these specific ones made, and our specs are 18 by 10 and a half and 45 in the back. We're running a 295 30. 18 in the rear. For those who don't know, all cars from the 90s, like JDM cars from the 90s, S14, S13, RX7, Supra, you could pretty much use a universal wheel to fit all those cars. Oh. I don't know what the fitment is off the top of my head, but I can interchange. That makes sense. All of these, I can interchange these Advan GTs with almost like any of my 90s cars, and they all fit relatively close. Some of them might require a spacer here and there. For those who remember when I had the HREs on the it was on this car. No, moment. no, it's actually, for those of you who remember the polished HREs I had on the RX-7, I originally bought my Mad Blue TE37s for the Supra, but we actually switched both of them and they fit on both cars. These ones are a little bit more specific to the Supra, which means you can pull off a like super dialed in fitment. They are hard to come by to my knowledge in this exact spec. So again, shout out to Tommy F. Yeah. Let's go ahead and throw on the rear and see how it looks. Let's see how much we need to lower the car. I think the rear is gonna have to be lowered quite a bit. Oh no! That oh was, no! That is a whole fifty. Oh, That's we, a whole fifty, Bob. We gotta lower it. We gotta lower it a lot, oh, my guy. Well, like a lot, a lot. That's like we're lowering wait, the wait, car. Wait. Why are you so against lowering the car? Because if it's, it's that much of an issue, you're gonna be so sad. You're gonna be so sad. You think I'm gonna rub everywhere if you, and scrape if, no, everywhere? No, if you scrape once, you become so sad. Your mood drops dramatically, and I know I I witness it. Everybody witnesses it. Okay, I'm saving you from you. So I just put all four wheels on, and I push the car frontwards and back to let the car settle. And I'm walking around right now, I'm gonna take measurements. I'm thinking all we have to do is lower the rear two inches. Cal, give me your perspective, your eye as well. This is what I'm thinking. Look at where two inches Whoa, is. Oh, that's a lot. 
That's gonna be a little tough. That'll be less than a thingy. It's less than a thingy. You either go one and three quarters, or you just can drop two. Me, I would do it. I would. I mean, we rolled them. Um, they're not like pulled, but they're rolled. So I'm saying we drop two, and if we need to go higher, we can. Drop two would be spicy, bro. Look at that. That'd you need to consider your personal. My taste is thrown out the door. Or no, I, I take that back. I want this to be, to run this. To the. To run this setup, it's gotta be flush. Two it is. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm Randy from Eliminate right now, but like. Can you live the Randy life though? Well, that's why we're not Can running Stancy Boy. This is just It's lower. not about the Stancy Boy, T. It's, it's just about, lower. It's about when you hit a dip that you didn't see and you lose an exhaust pipe. Are you okay with that? Not that's really. the real question. Not really. And one in a, one in. No, one we're in going two. to. Exposing myself. My front fenders need to be repainted <laughs> desperately. So don't pay attention to all that chipped paint that Calvin screwed up when he was laying my fenders. Um, what? <laughs> What, Calvin? And then I'm saying, Cal, we dropped a one in the front. One inch in the front, two inch in the back. Let's see how that starts us. Here we go. Oh, Hot Boy Teej coming to full effect. It's only Hot Boy trial Teej. Teej. Coming in to full effect. Full effect is if you don't change this. Too spicy for TJ. Okay, if it's drivable, I'll keep it. No, I'm just saying, I feel like it's a little spicy. I just hope that like, we are fitment. Like, you know how when you ask for 10 out of 10 spicy at a Chinese restaurant, it's not actually 10, but they have like a back room 10? This is like the back room 10. Back room 10. It's gonna be really spicy. I, you've grown in your ability to eat spicy. Let's just see, I'm waiting to see what he can handle. I feel like if you know how relatively low it is to that to the driveway out there, then Dude, I've driven the Lambo, driven the 458. Oh, the the Lambo's really low. I can drive low cars. I just it's just annoying if you're always rubbing everywhere or not rubbing if you're scraping like you're gonna take off your front bumper because that means you can't go in half the amount of places you want to go to. This Supra, I will say, I did feel like I could take it anywhere, and if I scraped, it would just be a little bit where it was fine. Okay, then. Well. So now with this new fitment, I don't know. I don't hope we're not wrong. Oh yeah! Yes sir. Yes sir, yes, sir baby. Yes, sir. That's fire. That is fire. Yeah. That is fire. Yo, baby, let's go. Hey, that's on my low. That's sunken in and Calvin and I were looking at it we have a ton of degree of camber not only in the front but also the rear the rear specifically probably has like four degrees three degrees of camber and because of that camber our wheels are actually sitting pretty weak these specs are actually supposed to be like dead flush 
not only in the rear, but also the front, and we're not. The only way to adjust the camber on this car is through the centric bolts. We could just spin the bolt and watch the tire come farther out and lose camber, but then essentially we'd be messing up caster. So I'm gonna refrain from doing that. I'm gonna go get an alignment on this car sometime this week. And once we have an alignment, I'll be able to get a better perspective of if I should raise the front end or not, because the front end looks a little bit low, but it's also sunken into the fender, so it's like kind of hard to tell if it needs to be a little bit higher. If anything, we would raise this car maybe like a half inch. I don't know, let me know down below. It looks like it's tucking a little bit, but if this thing was actually on like zero camber, I think it would look a little bit better. So hard to give it a perspective as of right now, so I think we're just gonna let it ride. But it does, I mean, it's definitely lower, but it doesn't look undrivably low. I guess we'll find out in the next couple days. All right, so now the real question is, the scrape test, pulling out of the shop, will we scrape with angle? If we do, I'll be very sad, I'll be a very sad boy. Nope, I didn't hear anything. Okay, the next test, we have like a railroad track that's pretty not fun to drive over. We'll drive over that, see if we hear anything, see if, see if we hear the exhaust touch. What's weird though is I can feel myself being lower to the ground. I know where this car sat and I'm sitting lower than where I normally sit. I can tell the car's lower. It's kind of tripping me out a little bit. <laughs> no scrape, baby. No scrape. Let's go. Calvin said the fitment looks good. Oh, okay. He's closing the window up on me now. Okay. Try to get a clip of him talking to us and he said, nah. I just noticed that the car is actually breaking up a little bit when I go full throttle. So when I reach peak boost, the car sounds like it's breaking up. I'll give you guys a little pull here. Listen for it. I don't know if you can tell over camera, but this is what it sounds like. You probably can't hear it on camera, but not in second because we're boosted by gear, but when we're in third and we're hitting like 25, 26 pounds of boost, it almost sounds like it's uh, muffled a little bit, like it's breaking up up top. It almost sounds like it's misfiring a little bit. in person not no not sure if you can be able to hear it through the camera today when we get home we'll have to check the spark plugs and see sounds like an ignition issue I don't know how long you've been watching the channel but I've had so many different ignition problems when it comes to Jay-Z's because I've been on LS coils I've been on crappy LS coils I've been on expensive LS coils I've switched to like R35 coils and I always wish that I would have just stuck with stock super coils because they're good for a lot of horsepower. So when we get home, we're gonna have to check because I don't recall if I'm on LS coils on this setup. I don't think I am. I think I stuck with just the stock super coils. So I'm hoping it's not that. I'm hoping this is a spark plug. So we'll have to check them. If anything, we might even be due for a new set of spark plugs. The car runs great, it only happens when we're full throttle, reaching peak boost. I've been doing so many cool things all day. <laughs> you don't ever hug me when I get home, are you just doing this because they're filming? <laughs> I hug you every day when you get home, what do you mean? <laughs> so as you guys saw this morning, they were filming like a Street Hunter video, or we were filming a Street Hunter video, Yeah. and they were filming one some of, the of Sabrina's- that films commercials anymore, you know. Wow. What can I say? <laughs> Big talker over here. Oh wait, I actually have good news for you. Bailey texted me today and she goes, I just saw TJ on ESPN, question mark, exclusion point, she's in Italy. Hell yeah. Because we woke up so early to start at this straight hunter shoot, I am literally falling asleep. I've never needed a NOS Energy more than I need one right now. We're gonna get back in the car. We are gonna go and get some cool glamours and rollers of the new wheel setup. I thought you guys would enjoy it. So, here you go.
had to do with the burnout for the boys. <laughs> I've never done a burnout in the car. Don't know why, but I was like, hey, we got some fresh meat on these. We have some fresh meat on these wheels. Let's roast them up a little bit. I'm really exhausted because today, as you guys know, we got up at 4 a.m. And the day before that, I had a very, very long, exhausting day. So I'm like, try not to fall asleep at the end of the vlog for you guys. Spinner and I are going to get dinner right now. And I feel like I, all I do at the end of the vlog is I put you boys on. I put you guys on to new things and, and, and new places to We've eat. We've already put them onto this place. We've I might have, and this place is not hidden it's not like a low-key place it's well, like a lot so of people popular don't really appreciate how good it actually that is, is what i believe in today's restaurant of the night everyone luna grill Mer Fresh mediterranean mediterranean for those that are picky like myself you're like ooh, mediterranean that just doesn't sound like me i don't know a little scary but let me tell you boys it's fire it's gas and they have a good chicken kebab plate with some rice oh it's so good Wanted to make the vlog a little bit longer. I don't know how long the video has been today, but I'm just exhausted. But I want to leave you guys with something because today, as we had those three Street Hunter cars, three Street Hunter Corvettes with each other, and we kind of just had everyone together. It was a really cool moment to see those cars. And for a second, I thought about the other of hundreds and hundreds of Supras and C8s and RX-7s that actually have Street Hunter parts on their car. And this is literally just the beginning. Street Hunter Designs will be the next biggest, most popular aero wide body company to date I promise you. And just to see a couple cars together for the first time like that, it was kind of, it was just really special. And I want to use that feeling that I had to encourage you to go with your gut on whatever that like crazy idea is. Even if you don't know how to start that idea, literally just Google it. I. Googled everything in my career, everything that I've ever accomplished that you see has all started with literally Googling it. Cannot express that enough. If you want it enough, anything is possible. Nothing is impossible. You create your own destiny and my favorite quote ever, he who says he can and he who says he can't are usually both right. If you believe in yourself and you tell yourself every day that you can, you will. That being said, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out and keep moving forward.